we speak to Team Flipkart about initiatives they have taken to make a better India. Hello and welcome to Flipkart for India. Let me start off with a very simple question for you. How many hours in a day do you waste? Hmm? 3, 7, 30, I don't know. You know, scrolling through your Instagram feed, googling random facts you will instantly forget. What if I tell you you can make a better use of this time? With just 3 to 4 hours to spare, you can be part of Flipkart's initiative where you will require no capital. All you have to do is deliver goods in your neighborhood. You can also make your house into a temporary warehouse. You know what? There are a lot of things that you could do. Why hear it from me when you can hear it from the person behind this initiative? Business head, first mile, last mile and 3P Logistics. Give it up for Mr. Shalab Srivastava. Hi. Good evening, Shalab. How are you? Good evening. I'm good. How are you? I am doing extremely well. It's, uh, it's, it's an honor to meet you and uh, uh, I'm very happy that I got your last name correct the first time that I said it. Yeah, thank you for that. Can I just ask you, are you a mad scientist in a laboratory? Because I can see like a lot of mathematical equations on the back. Yeah, no, that's for my nine-year-old son. So probably he is the mad scientist. Wow, this is it's very the beautiful mind uh, kind of like a backdrop. All right, so let's move on. And I really want to get to know a little bit more about the initiatives. For example, could you tell me the role of this initiative that like where did the idea start from so we had been doing first mile last mile for a couple of years and then we thought about uh, what do we create which is uniquely indian which should be a combination that it should take uh, our society forward and also be uh, also mm. make a lot of business sense for us and from there we stumbled upon this idea of uh, partnering with kirana now, Kirana is something which is mm. unique to India, right? It's present in every single corner of India. It's not something which is borrowed from any other country in the world. And uh, when we thought deeply and we did some experiments, we realized we could have some massive synergies with them. So that's how it started from because mm. uh, it's uniquely Indian. It is present everywhere. So there is a lot of reach in terms of scale. They could do much more than what we were doing at that point of time. So it was a win-win for all. It does sound like a process that requires a lot of tedious work hours, planning, training, kind of building a trust with the community. Uh, could you tell us whether it was, was it magical and everything took off or was it a slow process of it? So uh, magic happens in bursts. Okay, so this idea was magic. Then to, to test this idea out, uh, everything involves some bit of hard work and some bit of hard burn as well. So we had our fair share of that. <laughs> but the, the beauty of this is its simplicity. It is essentially enabling us to let Kirana Wallas earn a little more in their spare time. Right? So we are, not, uh, we are not trusting anything on them. We are not trusting any timelines. Whenever they have a downtime, they come, contact us, and that's when they take our shipments, deliver them, and make money. So it took us a little bit of time to get this right. But yeah, so it was magic, then heartburn, then magic. Wait, magic, heartburn, and then magic. What you have just explained to me right now is the process of a happy marriage. Uh, it's magic, it's a lot of heartburn, then there's magic at the end of it again. <laughs> Could you tell me initially, like, what are the, the geographically, where all does this exist in India? So this is a pan-India thing now. Okay, this is not about a state or a pin code or a zone. This is everywhere now. So in around 18 months, the team has been able to scale it pan-India. And it seems to be working fine everywhere. There are, there are minor nuances here and there because there are cultural shifts as you move from one part to another part. But this is truly a pan-India phenomenon. If someone wants to sign up, how does one get to be part of this initiative? Cool. So there are two, three ways. Uh, one is there is a simple email ID called kirana at flipkart.com. People could write to that. Second is we have got a bunch of uh, business managers or business development managers who are responsible for uh, creating the Kirana relationship and sustaining it. So over a period of time, those guys are also pretty well known in the Kirana ecosystem. So the Kirana guys could join through them as well. So you've got the, you can either send an email or you can get in touch with the business development representative or you would, you can just get in touch with some other Kirana 
uh, operator who's actually already a part of this initiative. So it's almost like what you're describing to me, uh, the way I would put it back to you, is now how like a comedy scene or the music scene develops. It's not like I am telling you what to do. It's like we are helping each other. We're getting in touch with labels. We're touching and getting in touch with venues. So it's like a community building, right? It's it's purely an ecosystem play. There is no thrust, there is right. no dictation from anywhere. It's a pure ecosystem play. And the bigger this ecosystem gets, uh, the easier it gets for everyone around. Are there any personal anecdotes or any stories of a challenge that uh, came through or a success story? Or oh, let me put it in the way that you described it. Can you tell me an incident that is either magic or heartburn or magic? Sure. So there, there are a bunch of people who were earlier struggling to make two ends meet. Hmm. But with this, uh, a bunch of people have been able to get health insurance. A bunch of people, Kirana Walas, have been able to get better mm. education for their children. And mm. when you get stories like this, you actually feel that you have made a tangible difference on ground while doing something which works for business as well. So there's just numerous such stories and all of them very, very real, very, very impactful. So that's why it keeps going on and you want to do more and more and more and get as many people onto this boat as possible. Um, now, we know that for now, the Kirana has gotten to a point where there are lots of members and lots of, uh, uh, you know, lots of members participating. But is there a, a, where is this going as far as the future is concerned? What is the next big thing for Kirana? All right. So uh, let me just take a step back. Uh, if let's say I am Kirana, uh, my understanding of my customer base is far greater than what any system, artificial intelligence based system can throw. I would know precisely when Mrs. Sharma would be at home or would not be at home. And hence, I would be able to do intelligent attempts, right? Thus saving Mrs. Mm -hmm. Sharma the effort of uh, mm -hmm. having to be at a certain point of time at certain place and also saving costs. So we have plans of scaling Kirana in a massive way. And we want to keep making it sweeter for Kiranas. For example, they one way of making money is just picking up shipments and delivering. Second way of making money is uh, uh, getting business for us. Okay, because Kirana are in areas where it's very difficult for us to create an organic reach. So we'll be leveraging Kiranas in terms of business development as well, where they help us get new customers and uh, they make a lot of money in that. And this is something that we are very, very bullish about. Because now is the time when e-commerce will make a switch from India to Bharat. And uh, Kirana will be one of the prime movers for us. So in terms of scale, it will become many folds. In terms of ways of engagement with Kirana, uh, we will add at least three more ways of engagement. So very, very excited about it. Okay, so you said that there are two ways to be part of this initiative, right? One is when you can deliver, the other one is as warehouse. Could you give me a little bit more detail on this latter? Sure. So. Uh, See, one of the key things in e-commerce is the speed of delivery and speed of delivery is largely dependent on where you place, where you are able to place the shipment. The closer you place the shipment to customers, the faster it is for customers. And there is no better place to actually park inventory than Kirana's because they are right next to customers. Most of them will be under a kilometer. So that's another area where uh, Kirana's can add a lot of value. And this is something that we are placing a lot of focus on and will be scaling up. Okay, good. And for the youth, for example, currently, uh, if, if someone like me wants to be part of it, if someone from my generation wants to be part of it, and you get to have a direct access to them. So why don't you tell me what you would like to tell them? So yeah. Sure. So all of us have spare time. And all of us want to make some spare cash. Uh, this is a perfect way of doing that, where you can engage with eCart whenever you have time. Work hard, and the harder that you work, the more opportunities you have for making money. And then there are various things that one can do with that money, and we have heard a lot of stories of how people utilize that. So this is a win-win for 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 everyone. This is probably this is one of those initiatives which is a great combination of doing the right thing for people and the right thing for business. And I believe a lot of youngsters these days also need a mission to engage with something. And uh, this is as pure a mission as they come. That is well said. Thank you, Shalab, so much for joining us. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. That was Shalab telling us all about the Kirana initiative. Thank you so much for watching Flipkart for India. This was our final episode. Aww, I know. 
Unfortunately, all good things come to an end and I will have to go back home and try to write some jokes. It's been an incredible six days with you. I hope you guys got to hear all about your discounts and your shopping carts were full. Kind of liked us here as well. There's so many things I want to take. Probably this laptop I won't be able to take because it'll be tough to steal this. This guy is me. If I was a football player and great metabolism and a different race altogether. There's something for everyone right here. Thank you so much for watching The Big Billion Days Live. My name is Abhish Matthew. Adios. Bye-bye.